It's called Money and Transparency and Truth. And when you're involved with none of that, then you do have, we do have a problem. And everyone seems to come together when it has to do with the pocketbook and when they know that, as Ron has said, that they're being had, it doesn't, it, it helps when you have everyone working together. We started off as a small group. Actually, um, uh, the, the um, task force was, uh, by the time we finished, were, I think there were about 32 of us, and then it went up to 39, and then two were, uh, because of the work that we were doing, and the mirror that we were putting out, and the uh, magnifying glass, we went up to 75. 75 uh, out of um, 80, 88 neighborhood councils. That isn't too bad. Not shabby at all. <laughs> We've been blessed because we have had good people come and we have uh, spread out the wealth and the work. Um, what we did was we asked, we divided the valley up into four sections, north, <laughs> south, east, west, and the rest of the city so that no no one neighborhood council would be impacted. We had um, representatives from each one of the neighborhood councils so that each neighborhood, neighborhood council could have a vested interest in what was happening. And then from each area, we had liaisons that would take care of certain areas and they could then contact. So that when we really, really needed to have representation, let's say at City Hall, we did have about 50 people. Not bad, it, it worked. Uh, it worked so well when we, um, they were trying to raise the, the increases without ever having given us the opportunity for input as they should have according to the MOU, which is really the, the crux of the whole thing. The, the MOU that had been written was said, simply said, you know, we just want to know what's happening uh, and to get, allow us to have input before you make a decision. It didn't happen. They only gave us uh, 33 days. And um, then we were supposed to be satisfied because uh, they finally agreed to give us a presentation. Well, we didn't agree and we would thank them for coming, of course. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but we said at this, at this particular time, we cannot agreed to your raise increase because you didn't give us enough time, you didn't give the neighborhood councils enough time to say up or down. And so until, until there's a survey that, is, uh, that, is, that was due in five years and that was a year ago, and that still hasn't been done, until the survey is done that will completely explain everything, then you shouldn't erase our rates. Well, the neighborhood councils all agreed, <laughs> the name, uh, but DWP didn't. The only thing that was accomplished through the work of a lot of good people was that the rate increase was delayed for almost a year, which saved you, the ratepayers, something like $54 million. And also um, with the current uh, delay of the um, tiering, that's, uh, that's a year. That won't happen until next year. Right now, our big, our big struggle, and this is now outside of the MOU, because we can no longer, um, I guess my hands were spanked, or the, the MOU committee was spanked a little bit. They said, no, this was not the intent of the MOU, which is true. Um, but we had no choice. They didn't follow the MOU process, and, but they, can, they don't have to follow the MOU process. Uh, there are two ways. Anyway, uh, so we formed, and are in the formative stage right now of having a, um, an advocate committee and we're calling it DWP and we're not quite sure what the name. Ken, is Ken here? Ken, what do you think if we call it a DWP watch, would that be, would that be offensive? That's not my vote. <laughs> <laughs> or DWP, something like that. Anyway, something that would, uh, that would say what we're doing and uh, putting a big magnifying glass. And now we can speak to all of the issues openly and above board, and no one can say that you can't uh, because I'm not following the MOU or we're not following the MOU. This is where we are, and 
Uh, at this stage, I would certainly love to invite all of you, and you have all received, the presidents and the reps at this point, have received invitation to support the new uh, DWP watch committee. Um, it has a motion, it has everything that is required. We even did bylaws at this point. Uh, we, our meeting with DWP was on June 28th. By the next day, we were already meeting. Uh, and so we've got bylaws now and we have the preamble and we have uh, a, some type of logo and we have, um, what else, the issues that we're going to attach. And all we need now is for the neighborhood councils to come on and just maybe just roll it over so that all of your neighborhood councils will say, yes, we support the new committee, um, the new DWP uh, watch committee out of that. And um, that's where we are right now. So I would be very delighted to see you in part of, I, I don't know where they're putting me. I think it's um, in one of these. Uh, and I'd be glad to talk more about it to you. Um, that's where we are, and I, if you have any questions, I, I don't know if this is the time or not, um, but I will be at one of the um, pull-out committees, and be sure that you, you join us. Oh, incidentally, our neighborhood council, that's a coastal neighborhood council, was the first to, was the first to support the, uh, the uh, new committee and have its representative. Dennis was next. Uh, Cindy was next. Oh, Dan, uh, there were two committees, uh, two neighborhood committees, right? So we're already underway. I would love to have more of you and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much.